Good day, children! How are you today? We are here again for an exciting and meaningful learnings about our lesson. 1, 2, and 3. Let's start our journey. Learn to read and write every day. Learn to speak and listen all the way. Come on, everyone! Let's begin learning English the fun way. We are now on the second and third week of the third quarter. Our topic that we are going to discuss for this week is about sentences and non-sentences. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to recognize sentences and non-sentences or phrases. When words are combined, you will be able to form a phrase or a sentence. A phrase is a group of words. It is a non-sentence. It does not have a complete thought. A sentence is also a group of words that gives a complete thought or idea. Let's study the following pictures. Letter A. The family prays together. Letter B. Ethan and Joy. Letter C. A talented girl. Letter D. They study their lessons. Examples A and D are sentences. They show complete idea. Each has its own subject and predicate. Examples B and C are non-sentences. They do not show complete meaning. For your learning task number 1, match the pictures in column A with the non-sentences in column B. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. These are the choices in column B. Letter A, a pretty dress. Letter B, a beautiful rose. Letter C, the two eyes. Letter D, a big vase. And letter E, the last leaf. What phrase describes the picture in number 1? Correct! Letter D, a big vase. What phrase describes the picture in number 2? Very good! Letter B, a beautiful rose. What phrase describes the picture in number 3? Great! Letter E, the last leaf. What phrase describes the picture in number 4? All right! Letter A, a pretty dress. What phrase best describes the picture in number 5? You got it right! Letter C, the two eyes. For your learning task number 2, match the pictures in column A with the sentences in column B. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. These are the choices in column B. Letter A, 
Aura sleeps well. Letter B. They are nice parents. Letter C. Linda fixes her bed. Letter D. Anthony takes a bath. And letter E. My mother washes our clothes. What sentence describes the picture in number 1? Correct! Letter D. Anthony takes a bath. What sentence describes the picture in number 2? Very good! Letter E. My mother washes our clothes. What sentence describes the picture in number 3? Great! Letter B. They are nice parents. What sentence describes the picture in number 4? Alright! Letter A. Aura sleeps well. What sentence describes the picture in number 5? You got it right! Letter C. Linda fixes her bed. Let us now discuss sentences and non-sentences. When words are combined, you will form a group of words which may either be a sentence or a non-sentence. A sentence is a group of words. It tells a complete thought or idea. It is composed of a subject and a predicate. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. Study the sample sentences below. Number 1. Ella plays the piano. Ella tells the subject and plays the piano tells the predicate. Number 2. The sun rises in the east. The sun tells the subject and rises in the east tells the predicate. Number 3. The garden is beautiful. The garden tells the subject and is beautiful tells the predicate. A non-sentence like a phrase is also a group of words. Unlike a sentence, it does not tell a complete thought or idea. It may just be the subject or the predicate. Study the sample non-sentences below. Number 1. Playing the piano is a predicate. Number 2. White garden is a subject. Number 3. Jason's dogs are the subjects. Number 4. Ray and me are the subjects. Number 5. Sets in the West is the predicate. And number 6. Flying a kite is a predicate. Unlike a sentence, the examples above do not give complete thoughts or meanings. Learning task number 3. Write S if the given item is a sentence and N S if it is a non-sentence 
Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1. My name is Paula Marie. Number 2. My wonderful pet. Number 3. Anna's new phone. Number 4. What is your name? Number 5. Her father's house. Number 6. The children are playing. Number 7. Ramon sings a song. Number 8. I am sorry. Number 9. Playing the piano. Number 10. Selling some apples. Learning task number 4. Group the items below as to sentences and non-sentences. Write only the letters of your answers in the table. Do this in your notebook. Letter A. Reading books. Letter B. I love my parents. Letter C. Luis enjoys his vacation. Letter D. Clara reads some stories. Letter E, Alexa and Arman. Letter F, my sister bakes a cake. Letter G, drinking apple juice. Letter H. Carlo recites a poem. Letter I. Visiting my grandparents. Letter J. Vince's favorite toy. Learning task number 5. Tell if each given item is a sentence or a non-sentence. Do this in your notebook. Number 1. A long belt. Number 2. This is our house. Number 3. It is a beautiful bridge. Number 4. Visiting my doctor.
In your notebook, complete the paragraph by selecting your answers from the choices below. These are the choices. Combining Sentence and Non-Sentence A group of words is formed by blank different words. This group of words may either be a sentence or a non-sentence. A blank is a group of words that shows complete meaning or thought. Meanwhile, a blank is also a group of words but does not tell a complete idea. I hope that you enjoyed our topic and had a good learning experience. See you again next time. Goodbye!